السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام ہاؤ واز یور اسکول ٹوڈے اٹ واز گڈ انکل ہاؤ واز یور ورک اٹ واز فائن ابو سو ہیو یو فنشڈ یور ہوم ورک یس انکل آئی ہیڈ فنش دیٹ ایز سون ایز آئی ریچڈ ہوم ویری گڈ ابو سو آر یو ریڈی فار دا اسٹوری دین آئی ایم انکل دا اسٹوری آف خدیجہ رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ One day, Khadija رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ واز ٹاکنگ ٹو ہر فرینڈ آئی ہیو نیور میت سچ اے گڈ مین دس از فار دا فرسٹ ٹائم دیٹ آئی ہیو میڈ سو مچ پروفٹس اینڈ اٹس آل بیکاز آف ہم آئی تھنک آئی ایم ویری لکی ٹو ہیو ہائر دا نیفیو آف ابو طالب ہر فرینڈ اگریڈ ود ہر یس یو آر ویری لکی آئی تھنک یو شوڈ میری ہم ہی از اے گڈ مین اینڈ یو آر اے ویڈو You like him so much too. It was then that Khadija رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ thought about this. Yes, you're right. It is a good idea. Can you ask him if he is willing to marry me? The next day, Khadija's friend met the Prophet. Why are you not yet married? She asked him straight away. I don't have the means for supporting a family, the Prophet replied truthfully. What if you are let off from taking that responsibility? She asked him. How is that possible? Asked the Prophet. What do you think of Khadija? She asked. I hold her in great esteem. She is a wise, pious and a kind woman. He replied. What if she would like to marry you? She asked him. The Prophet was surprised. He respected Khadija a lot for giving him work But the thought of marriage never occurred to him. I'll give you an answer after talking to my uncle, he said. When the Prophet told his uncle about the proposal, Abu Talib was very happy. He knew that Khadija was a good woman and he was so happy for his nephew. The Prophet informed his uncle's approval to Khadija anha, and they got married to each other very soon. For the first few days, Prophet and Khadija رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ lived at Abu Talib's house. Soon, they shifted to a very large house. The Prophet and Khadija lived together in their new house happily. Khadija handed over all her business to her husband. Prophet used her wealth wisely and soon he became one of the richest man in Makkah. Khadija رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ gave birth to six children, two boys and four girls. However, both the boys died when they were still infants. They named the daughters Zainab, Ruqayya, Umm Kulsum and Fatima. They grew up into young and beautiful girls. Years went by, but there were many questions that kept arising in his mind every now and then. He often went on top of Mount Hira from where he could see the whole of Makkah. Most of his doubts were the same as what Prophet Ibrahim salam he wondered who created this world and how the humans were created. He thought about his purpose in this world. He wondered what would happen once he died. He gazed at the stars and kept thinking about these questions. He loved spending more and more time alone at Mount Hira. Khadija would often send Fatima, their youngest daughter, with food and water to him. It was during one of these nights when no one was near him that an angel appeared before him. The Prophet was amazed by the sight of this angel. He couldn't believe his eyes. The angel then asked the Prophet, to read but how could the prophet read when he had never gone to a school i am not a reader he said to the angel then suddenly the angel took hold of him and squeezed him tightly the angel said again read 
I am not a reader. The prophet cried again. The angel then squeezed the prophet so hard that he thought that he would faint. And he said, Read in the name of your Lord and Cherisher, who created man out of a clot of congealed blood. Read, and your Lord, who is the most generous, who has taught writing by pen, taught men which he knew not. The prophet repeated the words with a trembling heart. Perplexed by his experience, Prophet made his way to home. As soon as he entered his house, he said to his wife, Wrap me up, wrap me up. He was trembling as he was, he said this. And she wrapped him up in a towel until his fear was gone. He explained to his wife what had happened. When he finished, he asked her if she thought he had gone mad. Allah forbid, she replied. He will surely not let such a thing happen. For you speak the truth, you are faithful in trust, you assist your fellow man. Then she went to her cousin, Warwa bin Nofal, who was old and blind. But he knew the scriptures quite well. He had translated them into Arabic. When she told him about what happened to her husband, he cried out, Holy! Holy! This is the Holy Spirit that came to Musa. He'll be the prophet for his people. Tell him this and ask him to be brave at heart. The prophet continued to receive revelations for the remainder of his life. It was memorized and written down by his companions on sheepskins. Slowly, prophet started understanding the meanings of revelations. He realized that he was now responsible for spreading the message of Quran. MashaAllah, that was such a great story. I'm glad you liked it, my son. Are there any more stories of Bibi Fatima radiallahu ta'ala and her uncle? Yes, my son. There are many other interesting stories. I'll tell you those later. It is time for me to leave. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ma salama. Ma salam, Uncle Yusuf.